Good morning. Or rather, good afternoon. It is 1245. Tuesday, August the 30th. 1245. But y'all, I am dragging tail. I am tired. And not like tired, but like I'm tired. Like I'm kind of like, eh, I really don't feel like doing nothing, but I need to do stuff. So there it is. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Mom likes to save. I'm so ready to go. I am, too. I got to get moving. I just finished eating. I had set the live to go live at 1230. And then I looked at the clock like, girl, you got your waffles in the toaster. Like, you need to eat first. So I went back and changed it. There it is. Because, well, she got to eat. Okay, let me share this. To the Facebook group. So just a second. Make sure you guys ring my bell as you come in. <clears throat> that means give the video a big thumbs up. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Hello to everyone. Thank you all for being here. Showing up and showing out as you guys like to do. Y'all are my kind of people. My kind of people. Definitely my friends. Definitely. Whenever I'm out in the streets, keep on him, and a manager tells me something like, oh, they have a lady coming here, and she was organized like you be organized, and she was doing this and doing that, and she paid a really low amount, and she used all them coupons and got all this. I'd be like, that's one of my friends. Mm -hmm. That's one of my friends. They doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's one of my friends. That's what I say. But on the other hand, when they tell me, Man, we have people that come here, they're not organized, they're cutting coupons in the middle of the aisle, they're digging in their bag for a coupon, they're fighting with the cashier because the digital they work, this, this, and this, and they just all nasty. I'd be like, oh, I don't know them people. Mm -mm. I don't know who that is. They need to get their stuff together. They are not home trained, are they? Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. Wax is on fire. Whew. Okay, let me post that. That's in the group. Now I'm going to go. I don't think I posted it on the main. The main page for the Facebook. Let me do that. So that I don't forget. Oh, darn. Let's see. Have I mentioned that I am a one woman show over here? It is just me. I am all I got. Running this this train over here. All right, let me catch up. Um, Medley says three Maybelline Green Labs, the fancy vegan line equals nineteen ninety eight. They are buy two and get one free. All cosmetics and accessories throughout the month. We have a nine off two digital. You would pay ten ninety eight and then submit to Ibotta. For nine dollars back, even though one of the items are going to ring up for free, I bought it. Will still pick it up on the receipt, and you will get back the rebate for that item as well. Thank you, love. I am doing just fancy. I'm a little sore. Yesterday was arm day at the gym, and today didn't make it any better. I'm a little sore, a little sleepy, but I'm I'm waking up. I'm getting there because we got deals to be to be had, right? Deals to get. Um, Noreen says, max out spin brush and replacement heads. No luck with the expensive toothbrushes, though. It's okay. You scored where it matters because those have eyebrow rebates on those spin brushes. I haven't found them yet, yet, because I'm claiming it. I'm going to find them. Um, let's see here. The promo of Tide is wrongly coded in our favor. I brought 192 ounce Tide and got the $3 register reward. Do not have to buy two. Buy them separately. What? Hold on. Let me write that down. 92 ounce Tide liquid is a certain scent or is it on any? Hold on. Y'all, I got my pen. Y'all got your pen? I got my paper. 
When y'all attend class, you go with a pen and you go with paper. Okay? Phone charge. Be ready to screenshot. Is it only... Let me write this down. Hold on. So I don't forget. What? Todd. 92 hours. You only have to buy one. You get the $3 reward. Are those the ones that are... um? Are those the ones that are $12.99, right? They're, they're on sale for $12.99. Is that correct? Let me go down. Um, make sure I didn't miss anything. Hold on. On the tie, can you confirm? Is it liquid in the pies or just one or the other? Is it a certain scent or is it just... Whatever, it don't matter. Confirmation, please. Hi, Nessa. Nessa says the birthday golden Oreo is on clearance for 49 cents. Is that the big bag of Oreos? Because you know, that's me and Mason's favorite type of cookies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, coupon game. Boy, they killed that Oral B deal yesterday near me. Thankfully, I got the ones I did. You know, it went fast. It went real fast. Hi, Ginger. Uh, I'm, yeah, I haven't found the spin brushes yet. I looked yesterday when I was out. So today I got to hit the other side. The other side. If Sylvia didn't beat me to it. I'm about to hit the streets again. Oh, goodness. I forgot to look for two brushes, which is why I went. Debbie, where's your pen and paper? Where is your pen and paper? What? I'm awake now. <laughs> Good morning, friend. Okay, it also applies to the Tide Pods. So the Tide, the Tide is on promotion. When the ad it said buy two, and you get a $5 register reward. I did not try that deal because it's a little expensive for my blood, and then I don't have any coupons. Um, not that it matters. I mean, it matters, but it don't matter because you probably use a register reward. Nonetheless, we've been getting so many great laundry deals. Todd had even made my list. So you're saying the big Todd's that are $12.99, I believe, you only have to buy one and you get a $3 register reward back. Got it. Yep, I got 20 from my father for the Arm and Hammer waiting for the reset. Fingers crossed because I'm here for it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, buy one at $12.99 and you get a $3 register reward and they're on sale. So $12.99 store register reward. $5. That's $7.99. If you have another register reward that's manufactured from whatever deal, you can use it here if you want to. If you have an insert coupon, I think for the big ones, is it a $2 insert coupon? I think it is. I think it's a $2. If you have a $2 insert coupon, that'll be $7.99 minus two. That's $5.99. If not a register reward, Walgreens cash. And you get a $3 register reward back. Now that's my kind of deal. I can afford that. So I got it on my list. Thank you. 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 Okay. Because I don't want to be here. All day, because y'all know we can start talking. I got to get out in the street. Um, We're going to get to this. First day of school for me, LOL. <laughs> um, I missed it, had to get a package replaced. The only thing that we shared so far is that apparently the tie deal that's advertised in the ad, it should also be tagged in your store. The deal is buy two and you get back a $5 register reward. That's what it states in the ad, okay? However, it's not printing a $5 register reward, it's printing a three. And however, it seems that you only have to buy one. 92 ounce product, it can be the liquid or the pods. I'm not sure the pots come in 92 ounces or if it says like just a quantity count. Good question. Nonetheless, you only have to buy one. When you buy one, you will get a $3 register reward. And you can use a store register reward, of course, a manufactured register reward, a coupon if you have it, Walgreens cash. So that's a good deal. 
Okay. Um, hi, Veronica. Glad to have you here. Hope you got pen and paper because we're about to do this. Yes, the family pack of the golden Oreos. What? Y'all even understand how Oreos go down in this house. Hold on. Let me write it down. I got a list over here. Let me write it down. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all don't have me in that stove buying everything. Hold on. It's just going down. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, it's on the Tide Pods for Pods for twelve ninety nine. There's a two dollar off digital. Pay ten, get the three dollar reward. I uh, see someone posted it. Thank you. Yes, ring my bell, ring my bell. That means get a video, a big thumbs up. Um, okay, so you guys. <clears throat> We're going to talk. We're going to go through some things. Make sure y'all read in the chat because our friends be sharing deals. They be dropping deals in there. They be answering questions um, and all that good stuff. I'm going to go through this as fast as I can, as slow as I can. 42 pack of the Tide Pods. Not sure um, of less quantity. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay, um, this video, we're going to talk about store register rewards, okay? Um, we're going to talk about paper coupons, the buy one, get one coupons, buy one, get one free, and digital coupons as well, okay? So first, let's start off with store register rewards. So everybody went out on Sunday and killed the cough drop deal, right? Now with this, let me let me add in. Let me let me share the deal first, even though we all know the deal, and then I'll give my wisdom, my thoughts. Okay, the cop drops. I put the other ones out, did I? No, one is sugar free. Okay, sugar free. Not sugar free, but it's the lemon, lemon honey, lemon honey. Okay. Y'all see that? These are the only two to be currently confirmed that the registrable board is printing. So they are on sale, buy one, get one half. Their regular price, two for three, so $1.50 each. $1.50 for one, half off is $0.75, cents, $2.25. They're a part of the promotion for when you buy two participating products. You get a $5 store register reward. This is not a glitch. This is not a glitch. They're advertised in the ad. If you scroll in the ad, you will see that they're advertised. Now, the other flavors are also posted in the ad. However, the other flavors are not printing the reward. Who knows why? Walgreens is the upside down world. It is what it is. We know that sometimes one cent on a particular product won't, won't, won't work for a promotion. One flavor won't. One size won't. It is what it is. It's advertised in the ad. So if you happen to pick up the other flavors and it did not print because currently they're not printing, you can ask for Walgreens cash. You can either call customer service, pull up the ad and ask your manager, whichever because they are advertised in the ad, okay? Who knows why the other ones are not working, but it's not a glitch, okay? Nonetheless, buy two, you get a $5 um, store register reward. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We all went out and we killed it on Sunday. We took the stove for all they had. Walgreens inventory is sitting over there trying to figure out why they just sold 30,000 bags of cough drops. They wondering, is the pandemic starting all over again? Like, they real confusion over there. Because we went out there and we killed it. Here's the thing. Great deal, a cheap deal, a good way to get a hot $5. However, what a lot of other content creators don't teach. Again, I teach. They don't teach. They're just posting copy and paste deals. They're not going to tell you that, hey, if you got 30 $5 store register rewards, 
that only costs you 25 cents a pop, right? So she used two in Walgreens cash to get it. You pay 25 cents for each transaction. What they don't tell you is the amount of time, the amount of gas, the size of the headache that you're going to have to redeem all 30 of your $5 store register rewards. Store register rewards can only be redeemed one per transaction. So if you have 30 of them, that's 30 separate transactions. How many times have I heard my store will limit me and only let me use one or two register rewards? Only let me do one or two transactions. I only have one store that's by me. I only have two stores. I have to drive way over here to go to another store. Well, them 25 cent cough drops that made you what? $2, $3, whatever we're considering it as a moneymaker. Oh, they about to cost you a couple of tapes of gas. But y'all don't like to hear me preach. So moving on. Store register rewards, you can only redeem one per transaction. It was a good deal. It is a good deal. And the deal, I believe, is supposed to be for the entire month, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a month-long promotion. So it's a really good deal. Don't get me wrong. Every time I walk into a Walgreens this month, I'm going to slide right on in to the um, cold and flu section and see if they got them. Because, I mean, it's a hot deal. But for me, the way I roll up in these streets, I can stand there and do 100 transactions. They're just going to be like, it's Michelle. Let her do what she do. But that's me. So all I'm saying is what they didn't teach you when they were posting their glitch is that, oh, when you end up with 30 of these, make sure you got money to put in your gas tank so that you can redeem them. Couponing is not just about cutting a coupon out of the newspaper, clipping a digital coupon, and grabbing an item here and there. There is so much more that goes into couponing. And I always want you guys to think outside the box. Don't just plan for today's deals. We're planning for tomorrow's, the next day, the next week, the next month, and so on. That's why I do what I do on this platform. And I educate. So what I'm saying is, I don't want to hear nobody in another next week when them store register rewards start to expire. I don't want to hear nobody in the comments. I can't use them. I got this many. I got that many. My store only gonna let me do one or two transactions. I can't. I can't. I don't want to hear it. What I do want, message me, and I'll give you an address, and you can mail them to me because I ain't got no problem. I can use them. So if you can't hook a system up. I'll use them on your behalf. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, on the real though, you have to understand how the store works and you have to know what your store will and won't allow you to do before you go out there and go crazy to grab a glitch deal. Okay, friends? Just being a friend. I'm just being a friend. I'm just being a friend. I'm just being a friend. Moving on. Um, hey, Paula. Friend, we missed you yesterday. Yesterday's class. It was a hot one, Paula. Not all stores will let you and not all employees in the store will either. Yep, 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 yep. All right. I'm not missing anything. At least I'm not trying to miss anybody's comments. But y'all know how this goes. We got to get through this. Okay, so that was that. I'm going to show you a couple um, slides of things that I did to utilize some of these cough drop store register rewards. Okay. A store register reward can be used on anything except tobacco products, lottery products. Um, I think in some areas you can't use it on dairy, but it can be used on any transaction. It's a $5 store coupon. Okay. It's a five dollar coupon. That's five dollars you got in your pocket right now. So it can be used on toilet paper, dog food, cat food, a pregnancy test if you need it, cookies, clearance, lotion, razors. It can be used on anything. There's nothing special about it. 
Only thing you have to remember is that if you're doing any type of spend deal, spend X, get Walgreens cash. Spend X, get a register reward. After you subtract the $5 coupon, you still have to be at your required spend total. Right at the total or more. So if your spend total is 20, you use a $5 store coupon, now you're at 15. Guess what? You didn't spend 20. So you need to add an additional product to get back up to 20. Okay. Video in the pinned comment of every one of my videos, how to use Walgreens cash on any type of spend deal. And in that video, I also include the fact that store register rewards, discounts, blah, 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 how they affect your, your spend deals. Moving on. Um, I'm going to show you what I did. One hot little deal that I noticed as I was scrolling through the IBC book, before I get a thousand comments, I've heard what's going on wrong about the IBC book. We'll talk about that in another video because I'm just not in the mood and my head hurt. Um, Dove, we have an IBC coupon for $1.50 off of Dove baby products. These are in my store, $8.29. They are between $8.29 and like $9.99 or something like that. Nothing's coming back, not on a special promotion or anything, but I mean, I love to get baby dub. And then we have a new infant in the family, so I was like, yes, please and thank you. All right, so $1.50 off um, IVC coupon. We have a digital coupon for $4 off of two, okay? And I just simply use the store, oh, excuse me, store register reward to pay for it, and then Walgreens cash to pay for it. So that was that. Okay, next is... A deal that I've seen tag, and I was like, I don't like that deal. That's not a good deal. Uh -uh. But then I was like, wait, we have coupons. It's buy one, get one. Store register rewards. I think that's a good deal. Okay, so here's the thing. Snuggle and all laundry on sale. These here are $4.99 each. The liquid laundry and the pods, I think, are like $5.49 or something like that. Nonetheless, these are $4.99. Buy one, get one free, okay? We do have a $2 off one insert coupon on the beads. It's not working. It wasn't working last week. I tried to just read the $2 coupon. It's not working for these for whatever reason. The $1.50 coupon, however, does work, okay? So $4.99, buy one, get one free. I picked up four products total. That's $9.98. I used two $1.50 off one product. And then the store register reward. And Walgreens cash to pay. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. So let me show you that. Let me pull that up. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. This one here is the Dove Baby. Again, they're $8.29 in my store for the ones I picked up. $1.50 IBC, $5 store, $4 digital coupon. And I just used four in Walgreens cash. Paid a dollar out of pocket. Could have been cheaper had I calculated my tax here and added in a cheap little filler to kick me over to five. And I would have used five in wax cash and paid a few cents cheaper out of pocket. Okay. And then this one is the snuggle. Again, they're $4.99 each. Buy one, get one free. I picked up four products. I used the $5 store register reward. I used two of the $1.50 off coupons. And paid a dollar ninety eight with tax to fourteen, so two dollars out of pocket or two dollars in Walgreens cash, fourteen cents out of pocket. Okay, so just an option, just a way to roll those rewards. Again, hey JB, um, store register rewards. You can use them on anything except the lottery. Tobacco, and in some areas you can't use them on dairy. Um, Kat says, I have so many expired PGs from August. I was sick and wasn't able to use them. None of the stores except expired, and I hate to throw them away. Do you have any suggestions on what I can do with them? CVS um, takes expired coupons. Takes. I say that very lightly because typically you got to check out and self checkout to use them. But what I understand, they scan with no problem at the CVS. So if you have a CVS and you shop there, I would try to use what I can there. 
Um, if not, no other stores that I know of will. They do have military base bases that you can send coupons to. You can mail them. Um, I don't think I have it linked in the description box, but I'll check and see. So what I'll do is once this video is processed, I'll look up. I, I remember there used to be a um, a link for it. I'll look up the address and I'll put it in the pinned comment of this video once it processes to where you can mail them to a military base and they're able to use them at their commissaries, even if it's um, expired. Um, okay. I have a coupon police at my CVS is too. So that's why I really don't even bother to be there as, as much. Um, yes, please. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Like the video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ring my bell. Okay. Yeah. Just come back cat at the end once this video processes and I'll throw it in the, um, the pin comment for you. Y'all read through the, um, the chat. Our friends, again, they be dropping deals and answering uh, questions and stuff. I'm just going to try to get through this because, well, I want to get out in the streets before I got to start picking up kids from school. Um, Maddie has a game today, so I think she'll be home late. So that means I can stay out a little bit. No, I can't. Dang it. The hubby works this evening. That will leave Mason at home by himself. No, I can't stay out too late. Side note. By the way, I did go back out yesterday looking for them damn toothbrushes. I found them. I redeemed myself. Did y'all see that, that transaction I did? I redeemed myself, boo-boo. Yes, I did. But in the midst of that, it was pouring down rain and the black girls don't get their hair wet. And I had a rinky-dinky umbrella slice my dang on finger, y'all. This is why we don't fool with run deals. <laughs> slice my finger. Trying to open the rinky-dinky umbrella. In Walgreens, bleeding all over the place. I had to go in there. I had a little tissue wrapped around my finger. I said, ma'am, I'm sorry. Do you guys, by any chance, have a, um, like, we in a drugstore where I can buy a pack. I'm about to buy no Band-Aids. So now when I have a whole bunch of Band-Aids in my house. I said, do you, by any chance, got an emergency kit where you can get me a Band-Aid? She looking at me, my little thing wrapped up in tissue, blood everywhere. I'm like, this is a mess, Michelle. This is, you are, you should be ashamed of yourself. But I wasn't. She went ahead and got me a little band-aid, a little uh, alcohol wipe. And I was like, thank you so much, y'all. I found them and I I redeemed myself. Okay. So that was that on the store coupons. Again, you can use them on anything. Personally, I always say the game with drugstore couponing is that you want to utilize your store's fake money. And you want to get more fake money back and or real money with rebates. So don't just go into the store and just using will and dilly throwing away your five dollars. Like use it to get some stuff back. OK, even if that means that we're going to grab oral care, faithful oral care, get a manufactured register reward and hold on to that. And it, within that transaction, you can get some laundry, some baby products, um, a case of water, some toilet paper, paper towel, whatever. But don't just go and blow it like the people that tell you go and just use it on anything. Nay, nay. Nay, nay, don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Mm -mm. You want to use it and get something back in return again, whether it's more store money or um, rebate money or just again the things that you really are in need of dog food, cat food, cleaning supplies, paper goods, something that we don't always, always get a good deal on, medicine, blah, blah, blah. But you want to be smart about it. But again, everybody's sitting with $100 in $5 store coupons right now. So you can afford to splurge. Okay. That coffee mug that's been sitting on clearance for, for months that you've been eyeballing and you really, really want it, you can splurge now. You can afford it. You got all them cats, $5 Catalinas, go for it. All right. Another one, too, to share that I'm going to do today because I just got my coupons yesterday. Viva paper towel is $4.99. We have a 50 cent coupon, right, in the paper. I plan to grab two packs in one transaction. That's nineteen. That's nine ninety eight. Use two fifty cent coupons. Use my five dollar store coupon. I'm gonna probably throw in the crest. That's um, either the crest that's four dollars on sale promotion by three. Get back a five dollar. Get back five in Walgreens cash. So that would be 
14, no, 15. And then we have a five all three digital. That'll bring it down to 10. I would use 10 in Walgreens cash. I'll be getting $5 in Walgreens cash back for buying the three crests and then two packs of the Viva, what I really want. Because ain't none of us won't know uh no two pays. We got plenty, right? We know that. But just saying that's a way to work it. Or the crest that's on sale for three dollars. Promotion for buy two and get a $3 register reward. That's a good option too to throw in with the Viva. And then again, you're using the $5 store register reward. You'll get back the $3 register reward for buying the two crests. So it's always a way to work a deal. We even have Colgate. I know nobody needs oral care, but oral care is what pays for everything. Everything. Okay. Um, well, I still need this insert, so I don't forget that. So that's that on that. OGX. So in Sunday's video, I was stating that I was hoping the OGX was on two separate promotions, giving us a double dip. It is not. There's a Catalina promotion that says when you buy three, you get back the $6 register reward. Thought I had it on my table. I do. Okay. This is a Catalina promotion. Okay. But this promotion is also in the ad. I was hoping that it was two separate promotions, but apparently it's not because only one $6 reward printed when I purchased three of the OGX, okay? Now, the Catalina promotion says it goes until October the 2nd. If I'm not mistaken, I took a picture. The tag in the store, ooh, excuse me. The tag in the store, I believe, ends at the end of the week. But let me see. I think I took a picture. Did I? Have I mentioned I have more pictures of Walgreens tags in my phone than I do with my children? It's a whole thing. Apparently, I did not take a picture. I didn't. I guess I didn't. Okay, anyways. So, I don't know. So, the thing I'm going to have to remember is next week, I'm going to look at the tags today. And if the tags for the store says that this promotion ends this Saturday, make a note for myself to test it out on Sunday. Because then the Catalina says it's still going to be running until the 2nd. So I don't know. Nonetheless, OGX is quite expensive. If it's a brand of choice or a brand that you want to try out, they're on sale, reducing retail value, and on promotion for buy three and get a $6 Catalina. This is a really good promotion, really good deal for these, especially because we don't always get deals on this brand. So it's a good deal. And of course, whatever manufacturer coupons, manufacturer register rewards or store register rewards you have, you can use. Okay, So that's good. Um, <clears throat> Rita, you met me uh, at Walgreens yesterday. Did you see how I was bumming a, uh, a Band-Aid? <laughs> Girl, I sliced my whole finger. I sliced my whole finger messing with my own Ricky Dicky um, umbrella. Yes, indeed. It was nice to meet you, too. I hope that you found the two brushes. I kind of hope you do, but I kind of hope you didn't. Because if that means you didn't, that means there's a chance I can still find some. But I kind of hope that you did find some. <laughs> I'm such a good person. But literally, doing the most. Doing the most. I sliced my finger. I had to go in there bumming. And that's not one of my, my main stores. I was out, look, I had no business being in that location. Let me just say that. It's not like too far, but it's not around the corner. Just saying, I passed up a few locations to go to that one because some said, some said in my coupon and spirit, girl, that store, they ain't did no reset in a long time. If any store got some, it's that store. And I was right. I went to that store. So you got to know your stores. You got to know your stores. So I went to that store. Showing up. They had them. They had them. Um, okay, so Selena, you always running late. I don't understand, Selena. What is your life? What is your life? You always on color people time. Why are you always late to the chat? How you doing today, friend? How are you doing today, Selena? Okay, so we're going to keep moving. That was that next thing that I want to tell y'all. Um, that's right. OGX is a part of the Activate Rewards. Is that a Johnson & Johnson brand? Mm -mm -mm. 
mm. It just says OGX Beauty on here. But it's a part of the Activate Activate Reward. So the back to school and back to college um, program uh, rebate. That's probably what it is. I did, and I just went to Memorial area and nothing. I guess it wasn't for me. I was coming back from the hospital and it was late. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that, that's what I had said the first time when I found them. And I had went to another store and I was like, all right, they don't have them. I'm out. But then I found out that they had a $20 digital coupon and it made me feel some kind of way. Like I was hurt, hurt. I was like, wait, what? How, how much they keep on giving us? $2? They're now $20. 20 Shit. So I had to go back to the store in the rain and all. Busted up my thumb. I tell you, boy, I tell you. I, I'm, a, I'm a mess. Um, Daphina, I am a hot mess and some, and some. All right, y'all, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, so that is that. The next thing I wanted to tell you, tell you guys, is this. Um, but first of all, Huggies, if you need diapers, the Shopkick rebate has increased for the Huggies um, promotion they have on Shopkick. Huggies at Walgreens are on sale two for twenty-one, so ten dollars and fifty cents each. On promotion for when you buy three participating products, you get back a five dollar. You get back. You get back five in Walgreens cash. Now you don't have to buy three Huggies. You can buy two, and then something else qualifying in that promotion. You should be able to mix and match if you're not wanting to spend thirty dollars on Huggies, etc. However, Ibotta has rebates on Huggies. That are due to expire within 20 hours. That's what mine said. And you get $2 back up to three times on Ibotta. You get $8 back. It's 1,100 points on Shopkick. Let's do the math. 1,100 points. Let's see. Times 0 0.04. Okay, so you get $4.40 back for up to two packs. So on Shopkick, the limit is two. So if you buy two, that's $8.80 coming back just with Shopkick. Then on Ibotta, there's $2 coming back when you buy three. And then, of course, Huggies is a Kimberly Clark brand, and that's part of the Fetch catalog. Check to see if you have a um, bonus offer on Fetch. But in any way it goes, you should be, should be scanning every receipt to Fetch Rewards because you get a couple coins for every receipt scan, okay? So if you need Huggies, you want to hop on it as soon as possible. Not quite sure if the Ibotta rebate will reset. It is no longer in my main gallery for Ibotta. However, when you go on to Ibotta and you scroll down to the bottom, there's a little button that says like submit for you to submit a receipt. And then it has three little um, barcodes on the side. That is your list. If you click where it says your list, let me see if I can show you this. Click where it says your list, and then you'll see the offers that are there. So right here, right there. You click there, and it's going to bring you to all your offers. You can scroll over and look at the tab, and if something is getting ready to expire, it'll be in that list. So as long as it's in that list and you purchase it, you have the receipt, it will still give you the rebate, okay? So anytime you're looking for a rebate, you see somebody posted something, they're like, oh, I don't have it. Go to your list. It's probably still there because it hasn't actually expired. So I have 12 hours now. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but now it says 12 hours. By the way, bust it up thumb. Missing a couple of nails. It's the whole thing. I was going to go get my nails done today, but since I cut my thumb, I'm like, I'll just wait because that's going to hurt. Um, okay, so don't forget about that. For anybody that just came in, it was shared earlier on. That the Tide deal that's advertised, $12.99 on sale, buy two, get a $5 register reward. Nay, nay. It is invalid. It's a whole lie. Who knows why? It may get fixed. It may not. We'll see. It's actually printing a $3 register reward, and you don't have to buy two. You can buy one. Buy one 92-ounce liquid, one of the pods that's a part of the promotion, and you should get back a $3 register reward for just buying one, okay? You don't have to buy two. You can buy just one, and you should get back a $3 register reward. So that's tied. Okay. 
The next thing, follow me here because this, this is taking a few brain cells and, and stuff. Follow me here. As of lately, since the Walgreens system update, buy one, get one coupons have been a whole situation. They either work or they don't. Like it's a hit or miss on these um, coupons, okay? I haven't tried the buy one, get one coupons since we had the X buy one, get one coupons, which I think was like two weeks ago. We had discovered that the X was working when you brought four of the exact same products in a transaction. But even with that, it was still hit and miss at certain stores for whatever reason. Nonetheless, this week I have gotten a ton of emails, emails, DMs, all the above from people saying that they utilize the Asper Cream buy one, get one free coupon. This coupon came out in this past Sunday's Smart Source, okay? This coupon here. Buy one Asper Cream product, get one free. Okay. The coupon is scanning with no problem. It's scanning. Perfect. The coupon is, however, applying different amounts depending on what you are picking up. We have some Asper Cream products on sale, buy one, get one free. No, buy one, get one half. We have some Asper Cream products at a regular price, but it has an IVC coupon. Now, here's the thing to note. Anytime that you have a buy one, get one coupon, and an item has an IBC coupon. The coupon is technically supposed to give you the free item after the value of the IBC coupon is applied, okay? And then with that, the way Walgreens system is actually set up and it's in the coupon policy is that when you have a buy one, get one coupon, the most value, the highest value is applied on behalf of the customer. So that means if the item is buy one, get one half off, your half off product is $6, for example. In normal retail, if you have a buy one, get one free coupon, the coupon should take off the cheaper item at six. But that's not how Walgreens works. It will actually take off the highest value item, which again, that's just example. Your item costs 12, buy one, get one half. So one is 12, one is six. The coupon would actually take off 12, okay? It's the whole thing. Understand that when it comes to Walgreens, math is everything. Like it really is. One plus one got to equal two every time. So here's what I am seeing that's happening. And again, several people have sent me their receipts. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much because it lets me see what's going on. It keeps me in the know and then we can decipher what's going on with that receipt and figure things out. Okay. So the coupon is not for the patches. Like it says, it excludes the Flexi Motion products, which is the patch products, right? And it, it excludes those. However, because we have Ibotta rebates for those and, you know, blah, blah, blah. We are putting the, the patches in a transaction with just the regular Aspicrane product. The coupon, and I hate to even tell y'all this. But I'm going to tell you, I'm not telling you so you go use it. I'm just telling you what's happening. The coupon is reading the highest value product in that transaction. Even though the highest value product in that transaction is the patches, the motion flexi patch thing, and the coupon said it excludes it. It is what it is. So all I'm saying is for me personally, I am probably not going to do the Aspa cream using the buy one, get one coupon in a big spin transaction only because I don't want it to jack me up. Okay. Because it's hit or miss. I've seen some receipts where it took off a weird amount and it's like, wait, it doesn't make sense. But then as I'm deciphering, I'm realizing, okay, so subtracting the IBC, it took that off, but then it added in a couple extra dollars. Why? Because it gave you the total value of both products minus the IBC. Like it's algebra 
geometry, second grade math, all wrapped up in a, a burrito. Nonetheless, for me personally, I'm not going to utilize the buy one, get one free, ask for free coupon in a big transaction where I'm doing a spin deal, only because I don't want it to mess up my spin deal. Will I do it in other transactions where it's just straight buy deal, using Walgreens cash, register rewards? Yes, absolutely. But not in a big deal. So there you go. If you have the paper coupon for buy one, get one free for the ask for cream, it is scanning with no problem. But what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, you don't have to have the cashiers do anything magical, override anything, put anything in. It is scanning with no problem. Okay. So that's that. The other buy one, get one coupon that we have right now is the, um, the Febreze products. And so I'm going to test that out today because I would really like to stock up. They're two for seven on sale. So that's three fifty dollars each. And I think the coupon gives us, let me see. Let me see. Look, also, I was such a hot mess yesterday. <sighs> such a hot mess yesterday going back out in the rain looking for the bang on toothbrush. Then I forgot my coupons at home. I didn't forget my binder. But I had just gotten my inserts yesterday. And the hubby had put them on the sofa. And I had said to myself, girl, don't forget to get your coupons. So just now, looking at my mind, it's like, oh, no. So then I didn't forget them. I put them in my tote bag, and I hung them on the front door so that I wouldn't forget them today. Because, nope. Ooh, such a hot mess. Okay. The Febreze coupon is buy one, get one free, up to $3.30. So I'm going to try those today because I would really like to stock up on some of the Febreze as well as the um, – the Dawn Power Wash. So we'll see what happens with those coupons if they scan with no problem. And I'll make a post if they do. Okay. Hey, Erin. No school today? Oh, excuse me. Jessica said for Breeze coupon work for me today. Took off $3.30. Yes. Woo. Yes. So it worked automatically, no override needed, just bam, 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 bam. Yes. Calculus for real. <laughs> for real. Labor Day, we have no coupons, correct. Labor Day weekend. It shouldn't matter to scan it first for the buy one, get one free. I don't think it should matter. Um, yeah. CC, you have a question for me? Oh, you said, oh, ring the bell. Thank you. I see. I see. Ring the bell. I didn't see the icon. Ring the bell, y'all. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, okay, so that is that on um, the buy one, get one. Thank you so much. I see, after that, that whole axe situation, I was over. I was like, you know what the hell with buy one, get one coupons at Walgreens? It ain't working. But apparently, they're, they're, they're scanning now. They went in there and they fixed something, so it's on like Donkey Kong. I'm going down and get mine. Kat says her gain and done buy one, get one work great. Thank you. $5 store keeper. Also, if you're using a store register reward, just like the IVC, and you have a buy one, get one coupon, do know that the store register rewards take off a few bucks off of each individual item that you're buying. So let's just say for numbers sake that you're only buying um, two Febreze products, right? And they're $7 each. So the store coupon is going to take off five. It's going to leave you a total of $2. That buy one, get one coupon. Oh, I wonder if it would make it free. Because that's $3.50 minus $2.50. That's a dollar. So the coupon may only take off a dollar is what I'm saying. In that case. Because the store coupon is going to reduce the amount of the, the item. And a buy one, get one coupon is not going to give you $3.30 off if your subtotal is just $2. But it would make each item $0.50. Cent. So a dollar total. Hmm. I wouldn't waste that store coupon. That's a whole $5. All right, we're going to add a bunch of stuff to the transaction. 
and see what happens. But just know, if you're using a store coupon, IVC, store register reward, a percentage off coupon, it's going to reduce the cost of each individual item, the price of each item. Therefore, the amount that's actually applied for your buy one, get one coupon is going to be reduced. So you have to do the math. You have to do the math, especially if you're working it into a spend deal and you're expecting $3.30 to come off to count towards your spend amount. Well, if you use that store coupon, it won't be $3.30 $3 that comes off. Okay, so be careful with that. Uh, so there you go. Uh, okay, um, I think that's it on that. Ask for green, buy one, get one. Dove, snuggle. Okay, let's get to the digital coupons. So here's the thing that we noticed yesterday. The toothbrush coupon, it's an only for you coupon. Follow my thinking here. The toothbrush coupon is an only for you coupon. It was $20 off of one product. The toothbrushes were on clearance for $10, $11, $13, etc. etc. The coupon applied to the entire product total. So buying two products in one transaction, we were at $25 and the coupon is working. Okay. This is huge because typically with Walgreens, you don't get overage at all. So if a coupon is meant to, if a coupon is more than the product in store, the coupon does not adjust down. Online, it'll adjust down, but not in the store. And it won't apply to the transaction, no matter how many you buy. If the coupon reads $20 off one, $10 off one, whatever the, the amount is, it doesn't matter. If it's off one product and that product is less, the coupon typically would not apply. But as we've seen over and over and over again yesterday, it's working. It is working. So picking up two of those two brushes, we're at $25. The $20 coupon is coming off. Now, to make sure that I wasn't tripping, I went back to my online court. I added the item to my basket, just one, to see if the coupon would apply. And the coupon is there. So the coupon is coded $20 off of one product. Because at first I was like, well, maybe it's actually 20 off of two. So that makes sense. That's why it's working. No, 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 no. It's 20 off of one. I got one in my basket. And it shows that it's coming off. So let me show you that picture. There you go there. You can probably hardly see it, but you can see it. I got one in the basket. $20 coupon is applied. So the coupon is coded $20 off of one. And again, in store, we're picking up two products that are clearance. Those two products equal a total of $25. And the coupon is coming off. That is sweet that is sweet now that is the only for you coupon here's the question whether or not this is going to work in store with a regular manufactured coupon that i don't know we got to test it out i'm going to go through the coupons and see what coupons we have for something and then something that's um you know on clearance or what have you and see if it applies the same i don't know that's the question. But this only for you coupon, it applied. So there you go. All right. Then with that same thought in mind, I'm sharing a picture, a receipt from Couponi with Nicole from Instagram. She posted some clearance, Neutrogena that she found in um, Simply Products, I believe it was. Nonetheless, she had digital coupons. One was $8 off of two Neutrogena. And I believe the other was $2 off of one or something like that. Now, the eight off two is eight off two. So as long as the total of products, you're purchasing the two required products, and as long as your total is $8 or more, it should apply with no problem. So the eight off two is correct in working that way. It's a small little picture, but hopefully you guys can see it. Take a screenshot and make it big on your screen. But she found the Neutrogena at $2.89 and they are buy one, get one half. So the total amount in product for all four of her Neutrogena products equal $8.66. $8 so all four of her products, not two, the coupon says eight off two. 
but she purchased four. All four of her products equals a total of $8.66, and her eight of two came off. And that was not a only for you coupon. She said it was a regular manufactured coupon. So I wonder, and I'm hoping that this is going to be one of those new norms since the system update and what have you. Yes, they 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 give us a little something, something, and they take a whole lot back. But then they give us a little something, something, and they take a whole lot back. But this is pretty cool. The fact that we can buy clearance, and as long as our clearance amount equals that coupon, it should come off. That's what it's looking like. It should come off. It should come off. It should come off. Okay. And I think I had a, a bigger slide of that. There you go. Here's a bigger slide of Nicole's uh, receipt. So you can see four products there with Neutrogena. And then the other side was her Simply products and her pawns that she found. And the 8 or 2 came off. The $2 coupon, I believe, was on the Simply products, if I'm not mistaken. But it worked. 8 or 2 applied to the total product value there. So that's a plus because typically in store, that's not how it works. All right, last slide for you. Gordy's posted these last night in the Facebook group. These are on clearance. Clearance price will vary by store. If your store is not tagged, simply ask for a price check. There was a digital coupon for a dollar off. She used a $5 store coupon. And then she submitted to Ibotta as we have Ibotta rebates for these products as well. Now she found these and there are several others in this um, line, spin brush line, that are also on clearance. So keep your eye open for clearance and stuff. All right, that's it. That's all I have. That's all I have. They be taking and giving. <laughs> Ginger, they do. What did we say last week? It is the um uh like playing one, two, three, red light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be they be on some other stuff. Um, what we've been doing with what? XOXO. Using the coupons on um not in store. In store necessarily. Um, not, not necessarily in store. They the coupon value didn't always come off, even though you had enough in product total when it's a clearance item. Yesterday, with that $20 toothbrush coupon coming off, I was so excited. That's what I'm not sure of. So it seems like it's just for digital only at, at least for now. It's in, well, online. If you have a digital coupon online and it's um, the product is cheaper, the digital coupon will lower down online. In store, it never does that. It never lowers down. But what happened yesterday, like with the two brushes, we have enough in product total for the coupon to apply. And again, I thought maybe, I was like, well, maybe the $20 coupon is off of two. And I went back and added it to my cart. No, the coupon is just off of one product. It's $20 off of one, and it applied. So I'm like, yes, please, and thank you. Scott, I'm about to go. I found out, Scott, that those buy what, get what coupons are scattered at Walgreens. So I'm going there to get me some, uh, some Febreze. XOXO says coupons are clearance as long as the value is there. Yes, it's always been a hit or miss if that has actually worked. I was just so surprised that it worked with the um, $20 coupon on those two brush. Like, yes, please, and thank you. Okay, so if I miss anything and we have, like, questions, questions, of course, once the video is done, come back to the actual comment section and leave your question. I'll answer you as soon as I can. Um, but I'm about to get out before my husband come home. So once he come home, he be like, babe, what you doing? Do you got to go out? You don't want to hang out right now? You want to watch a movie? No. I got deals to get. 
Um, yes, the time that you want a higher amount so that you can use the Rags Cash, LOL. I was so bummed with a $3 coupon came off instead of a, instead of a, I don't know, I guess you said dollar, and my out-of-pocket was just below 10 instead of just um, above it. Oh, a $3 came off instead of a dollar that you were calculating. Yeah. Even on the saving, like, yeah, I saved $3 on that item. Woohoo. But it costs you, right? It costs you $7. Yeah. I hate that. It'd be hurting my feelings. It'd be hurting my feelings. Okay. I'm about to get ready to head out. Uh, did you say that we have a coupon for them to brush? Or what to brush the spin the spin brush? I think that's a dollar coupon, a digital coupon. That's what Gordy's had on her receipt. Oh y'all, look, I'm running behind. The husband already came home. He must then stay at the gym today to work out. He about to walk through the door. Hey husband, I'm doing good, husband. How are you doing? Um, I think it's a dollar digital on those spin brush um in the app, but I could be wrong. Baby Ruth is back on swag, but oh, thank you, Scott. Uh, let's see, they're a dollar at Walgreens this week, right? Let me pull up swag bucks. They're a dollar this week at Walgreens. What did not, Stephanie, what did not apply to you? Stephanie, what did not apply? Let me look at swag bucks right fast and see. It expires on the 31st. Ooh, that's tomorrow. Swag bucks with the Baby Ruth candies. When you buy two, same receipt, you get $3 back. You can do it up to four receipts per day. Dang, swag bucks giving away money. And they are a dollar on sale this week at Walgreens, right? Wait, is this the right one? I'm looking at, you know how it tells you on swag bucks what stores is included? It doesn't show Walgreens. Let me go out. Maybe. There's two separate offers. Let me see. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Oh, look, it says drugstores. Duh, Michelle Reed. Um, yes, $3 back when you buy two valid at drugstores. And you can do any combination of the above options no more than four times a day. I'm about to go take all the all the baby room. I don't even like baby room. But hey, Halloween is around the corner. So somebody's gonna be getting full size candy bars. Cause it's going down. <laughs> Ginger, he be yeah. I, I was thinking he was gonna be at the uh, at the gym, and I could sneak out the house, but he here. So now I gotta get him a little more time. Um, baby roots are so nasty. I couldn't even finish them. I don't like them. They're not my favorite. Mm -mm. But hey, again, somebody gonna get them for Halloween, and some. All right, um, you can do eight on one receipt. Thank you, Scott. Okay, y'all have a beautiful and blessed one. We're at a minute and three. Let's go for the trolls. Come on and start telling me I talk too much. Your videos are too long. Oh, my God. Can you just get to the deal? Oh, my God. Can you figure out how to coupon on your own? But I'm not mean, so I don't say that. Bye, y'all. My head hurt. I'm going to get some water, talk to my husband, and then I'm going to coupon it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye-bye. Happy, happy, keep honey.